you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph, I made a fake. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. We have some amazing toy news. I am actually excited for this, even if this is a quote unquote kids item. We have a Power Rangers Dino Fury Void Knight gear up pack. Now, the reason why I call this more of a kid's item is because the, the side of the sword is going to be probably smaller and, and the helmet, this looks like it's going to fit a kid way better than an adult, but that's okay. Let the kids have some fun. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. The, the, the little girl's got a, uh, a purple sweatshirt on or black and purple. It's cool. So you don't even have to wear the, the whole setup. You just need the mask. And there is his dope sword. I love it. This is cool, guys. I really can't hate it. I know that they came out with the Red Ranger one. Well, now you can role play as the Red Ranger and your friend can be Void Knight. This is cool. I love that they're getting merch out there, even if it's just the smallest stuff. Because last season, they didn't really give us a lot of merch or what we expected from, you know, uh, the first season of a new Power Rangers show. We expect a lot of toys, Megazords. It was an underwhelming release, but that Megazord is banging. It's one of the few Megazords that I've heard. See, I have the Dino Fury Megazord, but I, I do not um, or have not even saw the Ryu Solger Zord, but I've heard from everybody that the this is the one like one of the very few times that the the power ranger zord is better than the ryu solger like better than the sentai um adaption of it you know the or the toy or the version of it and i i think that's cool so if they took their time and released us a great product that's all i care about and i have the dino fury zord it is banging i love it I like how it's kind of like Lego pieces because you can do more with it. And think about it. If it was being real life and like you had a Zord that could combine that much like it, it would have to kind of be like a giant Lego piece, like a block of some sort. So this kind of makes sense. I know that they thought about it and it's fun. All of the different modes and versions you can make of this one Megazord. It's fun. You, you can sit there and never really get bored with it. Unlike, you know, some of the other Zords from Bandai. And, dude, Bandai did a great job until they did it. Like, let's be real here. They, they were a good toy company that blew up right away with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and did a lot of good with Power Rangers. Towards the end, they got lazy, but... They knew it was going downhill. They knew that, like, deep down, they weren't going to be the toy guy in a few years. It was looking that direction where they just cared about kind of getting the nostalgia towards the end and just doing the whole, um, what was it called? The legacy line. So Hasbro's in a good direction. I think once you get the new project out from Netflix and Power Rangers, that's when they're really going to put out a lot of different toys. As of right now, they're doing a good job with what they got with Dino Fury, um, but I would like more. This is one, one situation that I do think that we could have way more toys when it comes to Dino Fury, more merch, but I think they're putting all of their eggs into the next basket they're only putting a few eggs in, into the dino fury basket and you can tell but it's still a good show the toys are still good they're doing a good job with it but you can tell that dino fury is just a piece to the puzzle and not the big picture itself um yeah so when i'm thinking about it I at first gave them a lot of grief for not giving us, you know, a, a huge Dino Fury release when it came to toys. But the more that I, I I sit there and I think there could be a good reason for it. And the reason is they could be banking on that next project. What, saving up that money, getting ready to put a bunch of molds out, a bunch of figures, um, weapons, morphers, villains. Let's get it going, man. I'm excited for the future, but little stuff like this makes me so happy. Like, I love it. It's it's fun. 
and Void Knight's one of my favorite characters, and we haven't even got to see half of the guy yet of who he really is. So it's it's gonna be fun. What do you guys think? Are you excited for this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.